Welcome, Karen. I guess he couldn't find a job today. Don't be nosy with others' business. Mind your own business. Oh, I'm sorry. How do you have the nerve? I said I'm sorry. Marianne, these are done. Put them with the other ones for now. Come on in. Don't stand by the door. Oh. He is sore again. When did you arrive? Just now. How are your applications today? Well, how do you think, huh? How could they employ a man accused of murder? Don't be sad. That's easy to say. Not at all. I'm as sad as you are, but it can't go on forever. One way or another, you'll find a job, Karim. We're being squeezed dry. We owe to the wholesalers. We couldn't even pay the rent. What are we gonna tell him, huh? We assured the landlord that we would pay on time. Maryam, talk to him. We'll pay twice for the next month. I think I'll sell the truck. No, we need that truck. It's just to clear our debts. We can buy another one later. How will we carry goods from the bazaar? Look, we waited for you to deliver to the school. Going around by taxi will cost us even more. Ugh. We don't need any more problems. But why don't we talk anymore? There's nothing to talk about. Everything's in the open. No, everything is inside you in secret corners. Mehmet, here, take these trays. But be careful, don't spill them, okay? Karen, could you give me the car keys, please? The school is waiting for the delivery. Okay, I'll go. You're tired. Rest a while, I'll take care of it. So what, you do the work and I'm the one who gets tired? What did I say? We have customers. How long will you keep your distance? Mustafa's calling. There must be more news. You can answer. Karem. Hello, Mustafa. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. What's up? The prosecutor's office would like the Yasseron statement about Mr. Turaner's suicide. I know. We know all about it. Kadir gave us the news. Oh, really? I called in case you hadn't heard. Thank you. Are you okay? I said I'm fine. You sound pretty upset. Is there a problem? I'm at work. I have customers. Please don't keep me busy. I get it. Okay. Oh, by the way, I gave your number to Melton. Why? She'll be a witness for you at court, Fatmagul. That's great news. You're stronger now. Everything will begin again. It wasn't over anyway. You better convince Hasser to withdraw her early testimony. I will, don't worry. Who is it? Mustafa? Go on, they're waiting for you. No matter what happens, don't call me again. We also follow up on the Yasserans. We get informed. You don't need to call. Am I making your husband squirm? No, you're annoying me.
Cadiz, come on. Murat, give me your plate. Is it a vegetable stew? Yes, it's vegetable stew. Marianne made a very nice stew, very mm. nice. I really want a diced lamb with potatoes and rice. Tomorrow, then. Oh, is that face for me or for the owners of the empty chairs? I don't get it. Come on, bon appetit, everyone. Bon appetit. Mm, actually, you're right, though. She looks so forward for Karem to get out. He never comes home. He's out every night. He's out every single night. And when he comes home, he's upset. Marat, eat the vegetables too, okay? I'm eating. He used to treat me badly, but now he's cross with everyone in the house. <laughs> Is that him? Unknown caller. Oh, well, don't answer it then. Hello? Fatma Ghul, it's Meltem. Oh, hello there. Uh... Sorry for your loss, Meltem. Thanks. I got your number from Mustafa. I know, he told me. Did you hear about the letter my father left? I did. You must know all about it then, I suppose. Yes, I know. I have nothing to lose anymore. I'm right behind you, Fatma Ghul. I owe your family the truth. I'll tell them what I kept inside. And I'll make sure that those scumbags get what they deserve and more, okay? I hope so. I'll make it up to you. I'll deal with those men until the end. I'll be on your side until the end. You'll win, you hear me? Don't worry. Thank you, Meltem. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>